Welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Right now I'm parked in the middle of the runway for uh, Frankfurt International Airport. I'm doing a series of videos for the Boeing 778 and in this regard I'm just making multiple videos. This is going to be the fifth one in which I will tell you what to do after the landing. Uh, so um, now I've landed at uh, Frankfurt. Uh, let me just uh, f first of all uh, get the charts uh, for the airport. Just uh, stopping in the middle of the runway. It's not good. But as soon as you land, remember the uh, few things that you have to do. Number one, uh, I have to take this right because you can see and there are parking gates over here. First of all, uh, just uh, attract the flaps because you don't need them. That's it. And with this, you have to actually also turn on the APU. Put it to start and then leave it over here because, you know, once you park at the gates until the time, the GPU van is connected to the plane to provide you the ground power or the external power till this time you will actually should I be taking this exit? Anyhow, I've just taken this exit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, now the flaps are. So uh, till the time the GPU is connected to the plane you have to actually uh, have some power because as soon as you'll park at the gates, you will turn off the engines because if the engines are running, it can be dangerous for the people on the ground and uh, the ground services have to start. So, so immediately you park at the gates, you have to turn off the engines. That's it. So you, let's see if you have the APU available. Now you can see on the ICATS it's saying APU running. You can see APU is now available. That's it. What I can do is this, I can also turn on the APU. Now I have the engines running and plus the APU also. That's it. Now the flaps are back. Remember this thing that it's very easy to uh, park the plane. You have to just uh, find the gate. If you are flying it with the ATC, then the ATC will be telling you uh, the gate to park at. And um, you can also consult the Navigraph charts. If you're using the Navigraph charts, then you can see way to park okay now remember this thing that um, the way you got the plane you have to actually keep it in the same way so as soon as you park at the gates you turn off the engines you have got your APU available you will turn on the external power and then you will turn off the seatbelt signs and um, with this you will turn off the hydraulic pumps turn off the fuel, fuel pumps and stuff like this so this has to be done let me just adjust the view so that I can also look left and right. I can just park over here. Let me just also turn this off weather so that I can Not really visible. <laughs> I, I thought I'll, I'll see it clearly. Not really visible, but... Uh, some bright light as you can see it over here. That's it. Let's stop and uh, first of all apply the parking brakes. Turn off the lights. And first of all, let's turn off the engines. Four, three, two, one. And let's uh, turn off the seatbelt signs. That's it. 
So the engines are now off. You can turn off the nav and plus the strobe as the engines are now off. That's it. And with this, what you have to do is this. You have to connect the external power and just consider that the GPU van is connected. Otherwise, you can call the ATC for the GPU van. And now the external power is connected. You can turn off the APU. You don't need it because now you have power coming in from the external power. And you can turn off the hydraulic pumps. You don't need them. And uh, plus, you can turn off the window heat. Just remember, you have to actually uh, keep the plane in the way of the state that you actually start your flight with. It's very simple. Packs off. Or maybe you can turn them on, leave them on till the time you're on the ground. And uh, the fuel pumps off. That's it. I think we have done everything. You can keep Iris at nav. And now the power is coming to the plane and everything is now off. And uh, now you can call the jetway to be connected to the plane and then the passengers can deboard the plane. So that's uh, what you do right after landing the plane. These are the procedures. It's very simple. Now you can reprogram the FMC for the next flight and then you can just uh, continue with the start procedures and you can carry on to the new flight. I hope uh, this video was a useful one for you. Um, I've never done these kind of videos on my channel before, what to do after the learning, but <laughs> now I've started doing this because I think it's it's kind of a, something interesting for the beginners because if you're not really familiar with the flight simulation or with the, with the aviation, you don't know what to do once you land the plane. Or if you want to do a, a, a turnaround flight, you want to go back to Heathrow, so now you can reprogram everything and then you can start this plane and take this plane up in the air towards Heathrow. With this, I would just like to end my video. If you've got any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. If you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.